All right, so it's time. Ready for chapter two of The Journey Within. Getting ready to start off here. Last year I did the Upland Slam in a single season, and this year gonna to try to do the Waterfall Slam. All starts trip number one, going to Alaska Peninsula, gonna hunt out of Cold Bay. And there's been a lot of changes in the schedule with COVID. Originally I was supposed to start this off in Saskatchewan up at Safari River and Goose Haven. Obviously can't get across the Canadian border right now. So readjusted the whole schedule. Team at WTA has been awesome, moving me around all over the place. I'm excited to get this started. Great. That last one? Yeah. Awesome. See uh, the white stripe going down the side? It's yeah. White coming in right here. Yeah. Good job, awesome. buddy. Thanks, That's a sir. tough one. <laughs> Thank you. Right on. You got a whole bundle of them here. And I'll get that far one. Dakota, come on. Let's go. Young gray. And I heard this one, they don't have much plumage. You got more copper color. Yeah. yeah. Probably a American. first morning here in Alaska and obviously not a great waterfall day with the sun and wind starting to pick up a little bit but it was calm this morning we we're set up on this point here and had some teal come through one of the first ones an Aleutian green wing teal it was a gorgeous awesome bird head your way after we're yeah done. I'm about three or four hundred yards you'll see me up there on the first green patch okay I'll just finish setting up the decoys and look for that other teal. okay Let's bring the ducks with. Okay. This okay. Well, we're set up on the tundra right here, and there's a bunch of cacklers in the area. We've got a decoy spread right behind us, and unfortunately, it's sunny, so they're seeing 
every little thing on the tundra that it has to offer. So we're set up in front trying to catch them as they get wing cut coming into the decoys. I'll just finished day one here out of Cold Bay. First thing we did is we set up on a channel and got in some Aleutian green wing teal, which are just gorgeous. It was sunny all day, which really sucks for waterfall, anybody that knows. Um, after that, we set up in some tundra looking for some uh, crackler geese. Ended up getting a couple of them, but the weather was, here's, here's an odd one, the weather was too nice to actually do what we should have been doing. But just an amazing first day. Started the waterfall slam with one of the birds from the 43 and then one of the bonus birds. So hopefully tomorrow the weather's nastier. That's right, hopefully the weather's nastier. What do you think, Mark? Oh, morning walk through the mud always gets the heart going. all the decoys set up. Today we're hunting along the shoreline, so we're tucked in probably about six, eight feet of grass right now just to give us a little bit of cover. And it's low tide, so we just put out a whole bunch of uh, windsock decoys and we got floater decoys in, but it's fairly close to the bank. And there's big skiffs of brants out here. So our main target bird today is brants, but there are also gonna be some cacklers and some miscellaneous ducks coming through. Wind's gonna pick up as the day goes on, so it should be a pretty, pretty darn good day. magnitude 7.5 earthquake in Alaska. Parts of southern Alaska are under a tsunami warning after a reported magnitude 7.5 earthquake off Sandpoint. A quake struck shortly after 2 o'clock, less than 60 miles from Sandpoint. That's right near the Aleutian Islands. It prompted a tsunami warning for the southern coast of Alaska with people heading for higher ground there. We are experiencing an earthquake right here, duck hunting. This is crazy. It's a little weird. 
Oh, we're calling it for today. Unfortunately, we didn't get very many birds. We had a bunch of brant and ducks that skirted us just out of range, ended with a couple of cacklers. But I have to admit, I sat through my first earthquake here, sitting here looking for ducks out front, and I thought there was a big bear coming behind, I'm not gonna lie. Then all of a sudden realized it was a pretty good sized earthquake, first ever. So, interesting day to say the least. In front of you, in front of you. Let him come. Kill him, kill him. Tumor down. Well done, man. Got yeah. some worms. Yeah. Hate to go a day without any track marks. This was a red dress for you. I was actually one I was worried about. Yeah. There's a lot of marks. I took the skull boat out here and went stealth mode on a couple of red-breasted Wagansers. Well worth the effort. did this off the coast of Mass, so looking forward to it. I've seen a bunch of ducks flying this morning already, so it should be pretty awesome. You guys don't want to get down pretty low. It's shoot time, so if Earl wants to get on the board, have at him. Okay. Yeah. Right here. Right Swing to the right, Dad. Swing to the right. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Coming from the right. Oh, they're coming the hard right. Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, tried to double and then got away. Coming straight at us. Real thick. Left dead, left dead. I just finished up an awesome morning out in the layout boat going after Harlequin and they were playing the game this morning. Got a couple great drakes. The scenery here is amazing. Surrounded by snow-capped mountains and ducks coming into the layout boat. You can't beat that. Heading out for Brant this afternoon to be in the layout boat. We are at high tide right now so water will just be going down from here on out. Birds moving a little bit this afternoon. Too far. Two coming off the three coming off the deck straight on. Ready? Just doubled up on Brant's get the limit right here. I'm sitting and it's been awful sunny, so a lot of groups have been flaring when they get up high enough. And there's a group of three that came right in and doubled up on them. Awesome. <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> There's some way out there low. I honestly can't believe that all three of us came out here and shot two. I, I cannot. There, everything always, always goes wrong. Yeah, something. There's nothing. And it was too perfect. This morning and this evening. <laughs> well, it was a heck of a day of waterfall hunting. A limit of Drake Harlequin in the morning and a limit of Brant in the afternoon, all out of a layout boat. And it is mid 50s and sunny southern Alaska. Won't be many days like this along the journey. He said, whether I complete this quest or not, these hunts will always be held close to my heart. At a young age, my dad introduced me to hunting and what the outdoors had to offer. And although this is only the first stop on the waterfall journey, I am already recognizing the connection between the path that he started me on back then and the path I just committed myself to on this quest. If the next four months of hunting unfold anything like the last 20 years of my life, I am confident that I will call this season a success, regardless of the number of check marks on the tally. A couple of limits in no time. I never thought it would be this sunny and nice in Cold Bay, Alaska, but Aleutian Islands in Alaska, it doesn't get much better. <laughs> 